Well, what I want to do today is show you how to subtract two uh, polynomials, and in this case, we have two trinomials, meaning they just have three terms each. So the main important thing, whenever we're going to be subtracting or even adding binomials and trinomials, we need to make sure we're only subtracting like terms, meaning I can only subtract a, a 2n from another n to the first power, which I have over here. I can only subtract my n cubed from another term, which would be a negative 7n cubed. So we can only subtract when they have the same base n and the same exponent. Now, to help us do that, uh, we came up with a standard form for us to write each polynomial. And what that means is we want to write it with our, our highest exponent, which we call our degree of our polynomial, and then all the way down in descending order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite both of these polynomials in descending order so that I can make sure, actually that's not first, and cubed is first, that I'm using the same order of my polynomials. Minus, and then let's do a negative 7n cubed plus 9n squared minus n. So now you can see that my like terms are lined up. All right? Now there's a couple of different ways we can subtract. Um, one, of the, one way is to distribute the negative sign because remember, I'm not subtracting just a negative 7n cubed. I'm subtracting all three of these terms. Or what we can simply do is set them up vertically. And actually, I'm going to show you both methods in here. So the um, quick way, just to kind of set it up, but a lot of students might make mistakes here, is to set them up vertically, which would say n cubed minus n, 9n squared plus 2n minus what's inside this parenthesis, which is a negative 7n cubed plus 9n squared uh, minus n. Now, the reason why I said a lot of students sometimes will make mistakes is when you're doing this method, you have to make sure what you're doing, you kind of say it out loud. n squared minus a negative n squared, that's going to give you double negative, will give me 8, I'm sorry, negative, ne negative 7n cubed is going to give me an 8n cubed. Negative 9 minus a positive 9, um, is now going to give me a negative 18n squared. And 2n minus a negative n is going to give me a positive 3n. So this way works out great as long as you're really good with your subtraction. Now, if you don't like subtraction at all and you much rather do addition, what we could do is we can change this to an addition problem. Now, the reason we could, way we can do that is I can write 4 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus a negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this negative sign to each one of these terms and then add vertically like I did over here. So the first thing, if I distribute the negative sign, that's now going to become a positive. Distribute the negative sign over here, that's now a negative 9n. And distribute over here, now that becomes a positive n. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'll have n cubed minus 9n squared plus 2n. Now plus as I distribute plus a 7n cubed, a minus a 9n squared, plus n. And what you'll see is, now as I add these vertically, n cubed plus 7n cubed is 8n cubed. 9n squared plus a negative 9n squared is a negative 18n squared. And 2n plus n equals a positive 3n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's two ways to solve the problem. I hope uh, you can understand and, and prefer one way or the other. And therefore, it will depend on the problem which one you want to use. Thanks again.